Hello, welcome to the fourth episode of the Big Data MBA Educational Series. In this episode, we're gonna talk about the difference between business intelligence and data science. One does not replace the other. Having data science doesn't mean you don't need business intelligence. And having business intelligence doesn't mean you have data science. These are two very complementary capabilities that, that help support each other. And obviously business intelligence has been around a much longer time. I got started with BI back in the late 1980s. I was very fortunate to be involved with some of the early projects in the BI space. But what BI seeks to do and what data science seeks to do are very different. Let's start with the BI conversation, All right? You can see on the BI side here is that what our objective here is to define the data model first around which we can build reports and dashboards that report on what happened to the business. A retrospective view of the business, but very foundational, because if you don't know how the business is doing, you certainly can't fix what's happening. You can't predict if you don't know what's happening. And so it's very foundational that we focus on building the reports and dashboard to tell us what happened, defining the KPIs and metrics that tell us how successful we have been. If we're gonna employ some what I call some very rudimentary analytics, we're gonna do things like um, benchmarking, we're gonna do some trending, we're gonna do some comparative analysis. A lot of times in BI reports, you'll see current period versus previous period versus previous two periods. And so these are all very fundamental analytics, but critical in giving us a viewpoint as far as what's happening in the business. Now, what I've seen in the BI space is that the BI process tends to start with a data model. You need to define the schema first. We're gonna call the schema on load because if you don't define the schema first, there's no place to load the data. And so you tend to go through a process of your interview, interviewing all your key stakeholders to identify the, re, the questions they wanna ask and answer and building reports and dashboards to support those. Now, life is very good. If you do this right and you build the right, typically a dimensional model with facts and dimensions, if you do this right, the BI tools are wonderful. Self-service BI is very much a reality. You can pick and choose your own reports, grab a dimension and other dimensions, drill up, drill down, drill across. All this stuff happens really well. BI and data warehousing is very good for having that kind of exploration and understanding what happened in the business. Where it gets challenging and having been in this space is when somebody knocks on your door and says, hey, Schmars, I need to add another data source to the data warehouse. And that's almost like a heinous crime. It's like a, a crime on humanity to try to add another data source to a data warehouse because they're so, tend to be very rigidly structured and they tend to be rigidly structured around structured data. So it's not easy to put unstructured data into this environment. So while it's really solid and important for providing a, a foundational view on the on the business, and you can see here on this table, it shows kind of what we look to do in the BI space. It's not sufficient if we're trying to predict what's likely to happen in order to take prescriptive or recommended actions. Then we need a whole different set of tools. When I deal with BI, I'm dealing with known facts. It's historical data. If I can't get the data right about what happened, you've got no help in the future, right? But now I'm gonna go from an environment that is very well understood where the data and the facts are known to an environment where I'm trying to make predictions where of course the, 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 the answers are never known. They're always based on goodness of fit and confidence levels. This environment here in the data science space is geared towards having an environment where I can freely test different data sources, but the starting process for the data science process doesn't start with the data. It doesn't start with the data. It starts by understanding the, the hypothesis you're trying to test. What is it you're trying to prove out? What is it you're trying to predict? What are the KPIs and, KPIs and metrics against which you're gonna measure success and progress? What are the decisions that I'm gonna to try to use the data for to try to make? What are the predictions that need to be supported decisions? And by the way, what are the costs of the false positive and false negatives? Because what happens in the data science world is I am never quite certain if my model is good enough if I don't know the costs of false positives and false negatives. Let me give you a simple example. If I'm in a digital marketing organization and trying to figure out what ad to show you, and I have 90% confidence this ad is gonna work, right? That's good enough, right? Because the cost of being wrong, of showing you the wrong ad is a fraction of a penny. However, if you're going to the hospital and you're gonna get medicine and I'm 90% confident this medicine's not gonna kill you, you probably might wanna to go to a different hospital. 
right? So what happens is I have to define the hypothesis and then I'm gonna build a process that's very collaborative, very iterative. I'm gonna try different say, the data sources. I'm gonna build the schema as I go along, right? And by the way, it's probably gonna be a flat file. I don't care about high structure. I don't care if I'm wasting bytes because of how I structure the data and I'm repeating things over in a flat file. Flat file structure is the easiest to work with. And speed here is more important than the cost of saving a couple of nickels on storage. I'm gonna explore the data. I'm gonna build and, and refine my analytic models. I'm gonna to try to determine the goodness of fit. And then I'm gonna keep repeating over and over again. Because here's the key point about data science, because I'm never quite certain when is good enough, good enough. And you can see in the right-hand column of the table here, how the data quality and the decision you're gonna make is based on good enough, right? I'm never certain if good enough is good enough if I don't know the cost of the false positives and I gotta keep trying different things, right? So the, these two worlds here are very different from each other, but it doesn't mean one replaces the other. They're highly complementary. The work you do in a data science space is where I'm gonna typically start, or the work you're doing in a business intelligence space is typically where I'm gonna start my data science work because I'm gonna leverage what you already know about the business, the facts you have, the reports that you are making to start my data science exploration. If the problem I'm gonna go after is around, let's say reducing unplanned operational downtime, then I wanna see the operational reports and dashboards that track what has happened with respect to operational downtime and maintenance costs and inventory costs and customer satisfaction and et cetera, et cetera, right? So these things are very highly complementary, but they take a different mindset. One is much more rigid and well-defined because you're dealing with the past, much easier. The other one is highly iterative, highly exploratory, high discovery, failure centric. You're gonna try lots of different data elements. You're gonna try lots of different transformation. You're gonna try lots of different analytic algorithms to find the one that gives you a result that's good enough and is sufficient given the costs and the false positives and the false negatives. So again, this is a quick brief on, on why organizations, it isn't data business intelligence or data science. You, a holistic analytic strategy must cover both areas and both areas need to play off each other because the results of the data science are gonna feed back very likely into your business intelligence systems to help you monitor and measure how effective the decisions you're making are. Thanks for listening. I can turn this thing off. Cheers.